everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm doing September favorites if this is your first time here my name is Lisa and I review products every single month in usually the jewelry makeup skincare category sometimes I'll have some random like home ones or fashion ones etc these products I review pretty rigorously for an entire month so I use them for basically 30 days I'm pretty strict with it and you can trust that these are products that I really, really love. So we've been doing this for a long time. We're gonna get started with September 2021. So starting off with jewelry. So for jewelry, we have four products. I have two earrings, one necklace, and one ring for you. I have 10% off, and each of the links below in the description are already incorporated with the 10% off. So there's no code needed. You just have to click on the product that I'm talking about, and 10% off will be applied to your entire order. It doesn't have to be necessarily the exact products that I'm talking about today, you can still get a discount if it is your first time shopping with Majuri. I'm just going to go in the order of my favorites. So the first product is the baguette ring. The baguette ring is actually one of their new items. I'm going to take it off to show you the entirety of this ring. The diamonds here are a little bit rectangular and it goes around all of the top of the ring. As you can see, it really sticks out and stands out and I just love, love, love the diamonds on it. And if you have been watching my other videos, you will also know I'm trying to bring a little bit more like texture and not just having like a very flat collection. So I have the dome ring here that is a little bit more elevated. And then now with the baguette ring, this is also a little bit elevated. Honestly, I'm not even joking you like not like this is ever going to happen, but shall I ever be mugged? And I'm just like, no, please let me keep one item. And he's like, okay, fine. Like what's your one item? Honestly, after wearing this one for a month, I would keep the baguette ring. Like if I had to pick one, like gun to my head, I would pick the baguette ring. I don't know if it's because it's just new for me or whatever, but honestly, this is one of my favorite rings at this moment. Like I just am so obsessed with how the diamonds are laid out. So I just, absolutely am obsessed the second favorite item of the month is another diamond product and it is the large diamond studs they are these ones right here and when i first got them i was like okay i cannot have a kim kardashian moment because i'm like i do not want to lose these and because they're just studs so the earpiece at the back is just like your typical stud as with all of Majuri earrings they've honestly been super steady so like i haven't really felt that they've moved at all and i also just love how big they are so they have the small size and they also have the large size we already went over this in the last various video but as y'all know i'm just like if i have to squint then it ain't it okay so the third item and also the second pair of earrings are these large hoops. These ones are gold vermeil. So unlike the first two, I never ever take them off. For the daily hoops, I actually do take them off because they are gold vermeil. And also just like I would feel super uncomfortable sleeping with such big hoops. I really, really like how big they are. And I also really like how they follow the stacker style. It's very straight. It's not like curvy. It's very straight, flat. I just really love the design of these hoops there are other styles that they have online but honestly they believe like daily or boyfriend collection and i'm just absolutely obsessed as you guys know i have the boyfriend collection ring and i also have the stacker so i just feel like this is the earring version of the stacker and oh my god i'm so sorry i have eczema so i'm just gonna put on a little bit of lotion actually it's a product we're actually gonna go through in a little bit as well back to the video size the earrings i also got this necklace here and this necklace is actually just one necklace so they layer it for you i feel like if you are someone who is a little bit too lazy to layer on their own this is a really great alternative because you can just buy one necklace and they will layer it for you so it looks like this and this is a gemstone here this necklace is gold vermeil so you are gonna have to take it off uh, i just really really like the look of this one and i also like how it's like really close to my neck it's kind of like a choker necklace feel if you listen to the podcast you probably already know how obsessed i am with astrology crystals and like all of that stuff i've actually been very into wearing gemstones just because i really want to like attract really nice energy and stuff like that. So I'm actually starting to collect a few more gemstones. There's a couple I also have 
an eye on in Majuri, so you're gonna be seeing that a lot through the upcoming months. Okay, so now that we are done with jewelry, I'm gonna go on to the body section. So this one has actually become extremely important to me. So I realize that we take such great care of our face. I don't put the same amount of care and detail onto my body and I'm like, why not? It's still skin. It's still the largest organ of your body, which is your skin. So I started like paying more attention to it and like wanting to kind of put the same type of care I put in my hair and my face, which is all about, you know, like let's not put any really harsh chemicals. Like, it's going to be scented just like very little, like whatever. So I started investing in a couple of products. So the first product I want to share with you is actually something my friend Natalie shared with me. It's by a brand called Sweet Spot and I actually bought this at Shoppers. You can also buy this on Amazon. I will leave a link down below for you if you're too lazy to go in person. And this is an unscented feminine wash and basically it really balances your pH. And I tested it all month and I just use it on my little special area. I don't use it for the rest of my body. It's just for my special area with a lot of like, you know, women were, were so prone to like all kinds of things down there. Like you could also have yeast infection or BV. I think it's like bacterial vaginitis or something like that. I just wanted a wash that was like able to help me just always like clear out kind of the bad things or like help me balance my pH. So I've been really liking this. This is also unscented and very safe for your little coochie, you know? Okay, so the next product is actually two products from Verb. He did pay me to do a campaign with them on Instagram, but like I said, you know, they did not pay me to feature them in this video. So I did test it out even before I posted it on Instagram because I wanted to give like a very authentic post when I posted it on Instagram. I'm now bringing it to September Favorites because honestly, their products are so amazing for the body. He came out with a body wash and you already know Verb is like my my trusted hair brand. I am not surprised they put the same level of care from their hair all the way to their body. So the body wash is a very gentle cleanse. It's very nourishing. It is scented but only very little it doesn't have any like unnecessary harsh chemicals they only put what is necessary <laughs> lastly for a body lotion this one's fragrance free and this is also like once again follows the same type of philosophy like if you're new to verb verb as a hair product you know they don't put any sulfates they don't put any like really terrible chemicals onto their hair products so I really appreciate the level of like attention to detail that they put in their body line. Another body line I am going to review in the next month because like I said, I am trying to take more care of my body as mentioned. So I am also going to be trying Necessaire. If you want to try it with me, I have a discount code with them so you can try it out below and you can get 10% off both Verb and Necessaire actually. So feel free to try both, but this month I've reviewed Verb, next month I will review Necessaire. Okay. Okay, so on to the next product. The next product is makeup and this one is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Nudegasm Face Palette. They sent to me a few weeks ago and this is also like from their new collection. Honestly, the color is so amazing for fall. It is what I'm wearing today on my face, on my blush, my highlight, and my contour. This is all from this palette. I just feel like the blush is such a great tone for fall. It's not a very bright pink, which like reminds you of summer. I already have two of their face palettes that look like this and every single one of them has been an obsession. I used to always get asked like what do you put on your face for your blush whatever. It's always has been Charlotte Tilbury. This palette is not cheap. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's $95 but do I think it's worth it? Yes. Not only are you using really like every product here, you have the highlight, blush, and the bronzer. And another thing that I use this palette for is I actually take it with me traveling. Not this one, but like the other ones that they've had this layout. Like I always take it traveling and this used to always be my traveling, like getting ready mirror. This is just an easy way to bring all three of these things without having to carry like a bronzer, a blush, like a highlighter, whatever. This was always my one and done 
product. So moving on to skincare, I have three skincare items. The first skincare item is the Amor Pacific Treatment Enzyme Cleansing Foam. I've actually used this product before. This product is amazing for my Foreo. It's amazing for my Clarisonic. This is actually something I've used many, many years ago and have finished the bottle about two or three times back in university. They repackaged and sent this over to me and I was reminded of how much I love this product. The scent to me is also amazing. It is not something that's like too fragranted, but it's not slightly fragranted, but it's not too fragranted that it bothers me. It's actually like the perfect scent. If you've used their cleansing oil, it's kind of like the same vibe-ish. I just really, really like the scent that they put in and it just really foams well. So I love it for morning. This has been my go-to cleanser again after a few more years I wanted to share with you. The next product that I wanted to share with you is the Ren Clean Skin Care Ready Set Glow Daily AHA Tonic. So I've been doing a lot Lot of readings on what these products are basically what this is is it's a toner that has AHA and what that is if you essentially a chemical exfoliant so instead of using those beaded ones like it doesn't surfacely exfoliate your face it actually penetrates into your skin and allows the skin to kind of like exfoliate through chemicals and so it kind of like clears out the first layer of your skin exposes it basically will kind of like renew itself so this month i already shared this on instagram but my face has been a lot brighter because i think i've been using this every day but the thing is you have to be careful because the mistake i made in the beginning was i was using this with my retinol so make sure you do not use it on the same day as you use your retinol because it could cause some irritation because you have two very harsh products that's trying to basically do kind of a I don't want to say the same thing, but like basically doing these harsh things to your skin. So make sure if you're using this, do not layer it with retinol, which is what I did in the beginning. And that was a mistake. I do think it is also time to incorporate, you know, AHAs into your routine because it really, really does like brighten your skin. Okay. And then the last product that I wanted to share with you is the Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum. As you know from pretty much every damn favorites videos of mine, I talk about my under eye bags all the damn freaking time. And it's not my fault that I have, you know, very bad eye bags and they're also dark AF. As you would put vitamin C in the morning as a serum during the daytime, I wanted something for my eyes. So I actually put this right before my eye cream. Whenever I do anything, I just leave my eyes blank and put the serum and moisturizer for the face, you know, like on the face, but just kind of leave this area blank. And then I'll do my eye serum and then my eye cream. It's really been part of my routine. And I feel like my eyes are a little bit brighter and not as dark as before. So I definitely um, recommend checking that out if you guys have not given that a try yet. But anyway, that being said, that is pretty much the entirety of the video today today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and it is so good to be back in toronto if you guys haven't already make sure you catch my europe vlogs there's going to be a lot more coming but they're all going to be rolling out sometime this week so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye